a little too much butt. This may be my favorite outfit. It's okay. A lot to see in this one. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a Boohoo try on haul and let me tell you, this is well overdue. I actually placed another order, which if you guys like this, let me know. Leave a thumbs up. I will do another haul, but I've had this stuff way too long. I definitely should have already filmed this by now. Yeah. At any rate, let's get into it. I'm going to show you guys some things that I've gotten from Boohoo, a lot of which I have worn, a few things I haven't. Most of it surprisingly really good, but there are a couple pieces where I was just like, no, this is not doing it for me. So first things first, I am wearing this shirt. This is just a comfy t-shirt, not a lot to it, just very basic. I will say that I ordered pretty standard for my size and what I typically get, but this extra large is like very, very roomy. So this is not like a really cute, like going out type of t-shirt. I actually would have probably been happier had I gone with a large. The material is just okay, but I would have loved it for just like a really casual, throw it on with some jeans type of t-shirt, dress it up with some jewelry. I feel like that would be really good, but I feel a little frumpy in it. It was super, super affordable. And if these pieces are available, I will link them. If I can't find them anymore, I just won't link them down below, but whatever I can link, I will link for you. It's definitely not sponsored. I paid for all of this with my own money, so I'll just get that out of the way for you. All right, now this sweater I love. Now most of this, if it was a numbered size, I ordered a 12, but for this particular one, I ordered a 14 because they have a little tool on there where you can like put in your height, your weight, all that. And it was saying to go up to a 14. And I was like, okay, let me try because the last thing I want is for this sweater to be tight. And I love the way that it fits. It's definitely not oversized, but I've got a little bit of room in it, just enough to make me feel comfortable, if you will. I'm not someone who usually likes things that are tight to my body. For whatever reason, I just, I don't like the feeling of clothing being really tight. That's just me. But if you look back on my Instagram, I posted a Neutrogena like foundation picture wearing the sweater a long time ago. Mm. That will really date this order, but I love this because it's like brown and black. And so it makes this leopard print look very chic where, I mean, granted leopard print to me never goes out of style, but some leopard print can be a little bit much. This is like super, super chic, almost hidden type of leopard. Like it doesn't stand out a lot, but very cozy, very cute for winter. I've worn this already probably a handful of times and I really like it. All right, so this one's also an extra large, but there's something about this one that fits a little bit Bit better to where I feel like it's just a little bit cuter. It just says addition on it and it's got like this faded like distressed look about it which I really like but this is just another really really comfortable t-shirt. This is like super super casual but you could definitely dress this one up too if you wanted to put it on with jeans and some heels. You could even tie it a little bit if you wanted something a little bit more snug around the waist but I think it's really cute. I like this t-shirt a little bit better as far as the fit. It also feels really nice in quality as well. So basic, but she's cute. All right, now this t-shirt I got in a 12 and it's got more of like a little cap sleeve. I love the little like rolled up look about it. I feel like it kind of accentuates the fact that I carry a little bit of weight in my arms. I love the color green. I like it on me even, I have green eyes and something about green on green I think looks really pretty. But I felt like this was a cute one, especially just for filming a video and looking comfortable with a gold necklace would be really cute. Or again, you could definitely dress this one up as well. This material is super, super comfortable and soft. I really like this one too. All right, so for this next one, I really love the look of the top, but I don't know, it's just something I'm not 100% comfortable in my body shape. In theory, I really love this outfit. So this is a midi skirt, but I've just got like too much belly going on. But I feel like this skirt sits a little bit better at my natural waist and not like all the way up, like to the bottom of where this ends, which is basically like right under the bust. But I absolutely love the feathers on this. I feel like this would be even cute. Like if you're not comfortable using like a crop top and actually wearing something super high waisted, you could actually put this over another dress and kind of like break it up a little bit for like a little feathery detail, which is really cute. The skirt is a little ill-fitted because I think maybe it should be a little tighter, but I don't know, with the shaper on, it doesn't look quite right. This one's gonna sit really beautifully at the natural waist, but I just feel like I need a longer top to pair with it, if it makes sense. But I do like the top and I like the skirt too. It's just, I'm not loving the look of these on me in particular. And that's just like, I need to get it together, but I'm not comfortable with my midsection and all of that. All right, so this particular piece is a bodysuit. So I'm gonna leave it with the skirt momentarily. Now, this is like a velvet on velvet situation. So I'm not sure how I feel about this, but I kind of like these two together in a sense. 
and I can even like ruche the skirt up a little bit to make it a bit, I don't know, more flattering if you will. But I really, really love the top. It's got like these flowy little sleeves. So what do you guys think about this one? I definitely love the bodysuit like 100%. With this skirt, I'm not sure, but I have one more skirt that I got that I think might be a little bit better with this one. But I feel like these four pieces you could kind of like interchange like whatever you wanted to wear together. But the velvet on velvet is kind of a cute moment. All right, so I feel like this actually looks really cute and I'm a little bit more comfortable in this. I feel like I just need like a little body shaper or something underneath. But I paired this with a sequin skirt. This skirt is basically knee length. It's kind of hitting me right at the middle of my knee you could kind of go up or down and make it just below or just above if you wanted to I feel like you could kind of adjust it but at my natural waist it's hitting me like right at the knee and I think this is really really cute you could definitely pair the other top with this too but you would have a little bit of a gap so it just depends on if you're comfortable with that or not but I'm loving the bodysuit the velvet is so cute and this is actually pretty flattering I think even though like I want a little bit of like shaping and firming right here I feel like it still looks really really cute I also picked up this little bag which I thought would be really adorable with this outfit so I feel like this is a really cute little outfit I love this anyway like you could definitely go super casual and still use this it's got like the little I don't know if that's cheetah or leopard head but it's so so cute this may be my favorite outfit even though I'm not a hundred percent confident with you know parts of my body in this outfit I really really love it so I don't know what do you guys think? All right, so this piece was probably one of my favorites because I love to be in like oversized stuff that honestly makes me feel kind of small. <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest. It says St. Mallow, I think is how you pronounce that. But this goes just below the butt. It is a really nice length. It's like a sweatshirt dress, if you will. The sleeves are a little bit shorter. All right, my camera rudely interrupted, but as I was saying, this is like super comfortable. This one is a size 14. I probably could have gone 12, but I love that this is oversized. It's like super cozy. Now, I bought it to wear with these leggings, but this was like the item that I was like, no, 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 no. It was the only one that I felt that way about, but these are like a faux leather leggings in a size 12. The weird thing about this is, for whatever reason, in the back on my butt, and maybe it's just because a little too much butt, but they sit like right at my hip. But in the front, there's plenty of material to go like up almost at like a highway, so it's like this weird angle. Not comfortable at all. They're kind of strange. They're not quite long enough, but like I could make that work. The ankle's a little bit um, too open. Like, I don't know, I don't have like huge ankles or anything, so that could be a little bit better. I don't know, just an overall awkward fit in these. I may try to make them work at some point, but the cut and the length in the inseam was what was really really weird because there is just so much more room in the front when I put them on like I could pull them up higher and then the back I feel like they're not high enough I don't know so those were kind of a fail but this would have been a really cute outfit together that's kind of what I had in mind and I'd still like to find something maybe like these but different I'm not sure but you know one bad item isn't so bad so this item I felt like was a little cuter in theory which is like the gray with the leopard trim it's not bad by any means but I don't get like excited to wear it it's also a little bit snugger through the arms but like I said I carry a bit more weight in my upper arms so that could probably be explained away obviously I'm not super skinny so my arms are not going to be super skinny but this one's okay I wasn't like super super excited about this one the neckline is really cute with the leopard obviously and this one is just kind of okay but not one of my favorite pieces all right this next one I got in a 14 um something about like the sizing when I was looking at it made me get a 14 but really the only thing about it is like these lacy little sleeves which is a cute detail but what I don't like is that this one is kind of thin not like to the point of being like a complete fail like sometimes that's okay but I feel like you would either have to wear something nude or like something where you know it's going to be seen and maybe you don't mind but this one's a little bit much for me I'm just having a bralette and there's a lot a lot to see in this one but the sleeves are cute I just wish they had made it out of a material that had a little bit more weight to it and something that you couldn't see through so easily because what I have on is like nude colored and it's just like emphasized with this one but it's okay it's definitely a very soft material but with it being such a delicate detail here I would have liked to dress this up a little bit and with it being so see-through it's not really something I feel comfortable doing but maybe with like a little nude undershirt or something I could do that but 
that's what this one looks like. All right, this is another one that's just so frumpy. Like, I guess it's just supposed to be oversized, but on me it just looks like I'm just sloppy or something. Like, the design is kind of cute. Again, it is a material where you can see through it. It's just a little wrinkled, but you can ignore that. The flowers are pretty, don't get me wrong, but I just wish I had gone with a smaller size if I had known it was to be so frumpy on me. So, in the future, I may order a smaller size when it's t-shirts like this. So like in Forever 21, for instance, I just use that as an example because so many people are familiar. I can usually get an extra large or a zero X and I'm pretty good. With this an extra large, I just feel like it's so big. I'm just kind of drowning in it and in, like not in a cute way, not like a big chunky sweater or something. So in the future from Boohoo, I would probably go with a large for myself just so it's a little bit more form-fitted and it's not so like frumpy trying to hide. It's okay. All right, so this is the last thing. It says excess denied. Please try again later. So this is just like a sweatshirt, basically. It's longer, but it's not as long as the green one, which was meant to be more like, you could almost wear it as a dress, but this one is definitely more just like an oversized sweatshirt. And I don't typically buy things in this color, so I am actually very happy to have this. It's super, super cozy, very comfortable. It's kind of a little bit like fleecy on the inside. Super, super comfortable. And I'm realizing this as I'm getting to the end like this sounds kind of negative but for the most part I really liked everything that I got and I feel like some of my issue is just like not being comfortable with my body in certain things and that's sometimes more the issue than anything else also it was my first time ordering from boohoo so I can correct some of the sizing next time um, you know with some of those like t-shirts I'll go down a size mostly everything else though was pretty good I was shocked that I was able to pick so effortlessly and I do think that the velvet bodysuit with the sequin skirt and that purse is like the cutest outfit. I have some like strappy black shoes that I feel like I could definitely put together a very cute dressed up outfit with that and then I have so many like good comfortable casual items. The green sweatshirt dress is definitely one of my favorite favorite things for sure and I love it because you can pair that with leggings and tennis shoes and be comfortable or dress it up with like leathery leggings and some heels and then it becomes something really cute even though it is so oversized and comfortable so overall I was really happy with everything from Boohoo I did order some other things like I told you guys and I will continue and kind of figure out you know what works for me and what doesn't from there because it was my first time so obviously you know getting to know like their sizes and my size and all that kind of stuff I'll have everything that I can find link below. When I get my next package from Boohoo, I will be sure to film it earlier and not wait so, so late in the game. And yeah, leave me a thumbs up if you want to see that. If you want more clothing hauls, I know I'm not the best at showing like full body shots of like clothing and all that. And I just think that's just me having a hang up about it, but we'll get better. If you guys like the clothing hauls, then I will continue to do them and get better at them as well. So that is everything for now. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you really soon in my next video. Bye.